Professor Ford here. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to put your mop head on your mop stick and also how many gallons of water do you put in your mop bucket. First, let's take the mop head, slide it on the stick, close the latch, and then tighten it down. Get it good and snug so it's not moving around on you. Now on your mop bucket, typically a mop bucket will hold eight gallons of water to the very top. Down inside you have what's called wave breaks. And that's, this has helped to keep the water from splashing out of the bucket. So just below the wave break is approximately four gallons. And that's about how full you want your mop bucket to be. So when you're mopping your floors and you're moving your bucket around, you don't get a lot of splash. Always put your mop in the ringer, give it a twist, and pull down firmly. And then of course, anytime you're mopping your floor, always make sure you have your wet floor side out. 